we have one uh, woman who is treated as part of the trial, and uh, she, you know, was just ecstatic after the surgery. Um, I remember when we came out of the MRI scanner, um, she literally started crying as we were taking off this frame again, and I thought that she was in a lot of pain. And in fact, she was just so happy because she hadn't been able to hold her hand still for over 15 years. And suddenly she was just able to look at her hand and have it not, you know, do things that she didn't want it to do. And that was, uh, that was very moving for me. So um, I, I really would like to do that for other patients as well. These are patients who have had tremor for 10 or 20 years that has just been very disabling and they look at their hand and they sometimes think, is that really my hand? Because for all the time that they can remember, it was always shaking. So it's almost like it's a phantom hand because they just can't, don't recognize it because it's not shaking away. So they look at it and typically the response is, uh, there's a big smile on their face. It's quite remarkable. Importante información de seguridad. Usted debe sostener una conversación en detalle con su médico en relación con los riesgos y beneficios de someterse a alguna de las opciones de tratamiento. Las complicaciones más comunes reportadas por los participantes después del tratamiento en los estudios clínicos patrocinados por Insight Tech incluyen desbalance, alteración de la marcha, 26% de los participantes en el estudio, insensibilidad, hormigueo, 33%, y dolor de cabeza, dolor en el cráneo, 51%. La mayoría de las complicaciones resultaron leves o moderadas y 48% desaparecieron por sí solas durante los 30 primeros días. Eventos adicionales poco frecuentes incluyen mareos, perturbaciones en el gusto, pronunciación enredada, fatiga y vómito. Entre las complicaciones que persisten después de los tres años se incluyen insensibilidad, hormigueo, 9% de los participantes en el estudio, desbalance, 4%, desequilibrio, 4%, alteración de la marcha, 2%, debilidad musculoesquelética, 2%. Para información completa de seguridad, por favor visite https diagonal diagonal essentialtremorcom diagonal safety information.